Murphy. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I said all of it. Just nah, I, it was my mistake. You can just have the lowest one, the first one. I, I, it doesn't go through my armor, so I guess I don't take damage. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It just he hits you, but uh, your armor uh, completely absorbs the impact. My mistake. <clears throat> so what do you do? He's still trying to beat up this other guy. I'm gonna try to push him, get him off. I want to protect this little man. All right. Uh, is anyone else doing anything while uh, I he's probably doing this? shout like? Stop fighting right now, the evil spirit is gone from this poor fellow. <laughs> All right, this guy, this guy is, uh, he's, he's defending his family. And so he, he just disregards what you're saying. He, he hears you as one of the other people's family. I'm going to move in with my shield and, right. uh, kind of, uh, I, I'm the move I'm triggering is defend, but I'm going right. to move in with my shield and kind of thrust it between him and Greg and the guy he's beaten up. And just start kind of pushing him back, uh, assuming I, I roll well. Uh, that's what I'm aiming to do. Uh, okay. So I'm rolling con. An eight. All and right. so I have, is it one or two hold? Uh, it's one. On seven, nine, one it's one. Yeah, so kind of I'm just standing there, and the next time he swings at somebody, I'm, I'm going to hold it, and the next time he swings at somebody, I'm going to uh, have him attack me instead of them. Okay. Um, and I'm so, just kind of pushing him back. Okay. And so he's, he's still swinging. Uh, he attacks you, I guess, with another D6. Yeah, so I guess he swings. I just kind of put myself between it. And I'm just, like, I'm an old drill sergeant. At right. some point I had got more, and I'm just, like, yelling at him as he's swinging at me. I'm not trying to stop the damage. I'm just trying to calm him down and, like, get the entire scene focused on me. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, I rolled a, that was a six. No, that's good, that's good. Uh, so I've got um, three armor, because I've got my shield and my, my armor, okay. so I'm going to take three points of damage. Uh, and, and I'm just trying to buy my team time to kind of get in there and, and pull them. Now, you're the second person that he's hit besides, or the third person, yeah, second person that he's hit besides this guy. Uh, he hits you with such force, the six, uh, that uh, he hits your shield, right? And it's, it really hurts his hand. And uh, he just sort of, like, lets go of the guy and um, he starts yelling, what are you doing? Like, get him. And then he starts clenching his fist and, like, like in pain. I think and with compassion, I'm going to look him in the eyes and say, look at him. He's not insane anymore. Look at him. I wanted to detect evil again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, there's, there's uh, actually detecting evil. Uh, you sense some... Some of the guy, some evil heading towards you from uh, maybe unknown, yeah, unknown direction. Just it's getting closer. I'm gonna uh, like say, I'm gonna like look up to the party. My evil sense is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, he he just uh, he's in so much pain that he just he walks back and he takes his family inside, and the other person's family walks up and and starts carrying their. Uh, their father, or the father of the family, which was getting beaten up uh, inside their house. And they start going their separate ways. Yes, leave the streets, good people. And to the Greg, like, hmm, but do we go for that evil thing, or do we try to help? Like, at this point, do we see that the fire is even, is getting Oh, yes, the, the fire more? is catching. Uh, it, and you're close enough now to where you can actually see the burning building. It doesn't look like anyone's trying to put it out. They're just running. Okay, I think we should do some about that. Well, sadly, I cannot conjure water. Neither can I, but we can fight the building. <laughs> Charge the building. <laughs> oh my god. Just out of, <coughs> shit. out of character question. Does anybody is injured or badly injured? Apart no. from... Yeah, because my heal, if I if it works, he it can heal to d eight. So I'm just wondering what's yeah, your. There, there's a couple of people with damage in your party, but I, just the guy was badly like his nose was broken. It looked like the guy was getting carried off, and he's in his home by now. Okay, yeah. <coughs> no, I was just wondering about the party. <coughs> so quick decision, and I look at Drag. Either to go to that another evil thinking guy, 
or to the Please. church. Uh, and you can know. hear screams getting closer. Or you can hear a, a What direction are they from? Or do we know? Uh, you can hear a scream coming from here. And it doesn't sound like a human scream. It's like a... Have you ever seen like the mummy or something? It, it sounds like that. Ooh, and, cool. uh, That's the direction coming, of the evil? Or is that something One else? coming from here. You can hear screams from those two general areas. And yeah, they're not human screams. And uh, probably getting closer. What, what should we do, guys? I'm actually, as you guys discuss what we should do, I'm walking toward that nearer scream, and I'm beating my spear against my shield, trying to draw its attention on me. Mm, good idea. All right. So it sort of takes this route right here. And uh, which way were you walking? Like direct, like the shortest path toward it. So. Oh, like this way? Like, yeah. All right, and yeah, as, right. as he's doing that, can we go... I think we should try, if it's going that way, maybe we could try to meet up, or we don't know that, yeah. actually. You, you know, y'all could see it uh, by now. Uh, it's coming down that road, and y'all are at that cross-section still. Uh, so, yeah, y'all could see it by now. Uh, once it screamed, it alerted, y'all could have, y'all could have, oh, sorry, yeah. And, what but does y'all it? See, y'all see it duck behind this building. Right yeah, what, what does it look like? Uh, it like looks like, a, like, well, y'all saw the other guy. He just looked normal. But he screamed like an like an inhuman scream. He just looked like a oh he was a man or actually no he, it was it was actually a woman, uh, in like a full like a woman like a gown maybe one that a woman would sleep in. And uh, she's running, at, uh, behind the building here. I think we should try to like go up and meet her meet up with her through uh. The, the way to meet up with her. Help whoever we can. Let's go. Um, before that, can I apply my uh, poison to my throwing knives? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Do I have to roll for something, just no, in case? No, no, you're right. good. Which poison did you take? Uh, oil of to get, to get, I think. To get. Uh, is that the sleeping I one? Get. Yes. Okay. Ooh, nice. nice. Okay. So y'all are coming to meet her. Uh, which way? Uh, the just the shortest. I want to cut her off and like make okay, sure she's focused on the us. Shortest way. And uh, okay, so the whole party's going that way. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, I yeah. think we or agreed just, that. Who, who, all, who else is going that way? Right. I definitely am. Oh, I yeah, like this way, like that way, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. I guess would be like the best way to go. Yeah, I also go with them. I think we agreed that to not split the party, I think. All right. And uh, you can see her charging. And uh, you, you actually meet up with her uh, right in the middle there. And you're right next to the burning building. You can feel the heat. It's really hot. So she's so, charging. Um, she's kind yeah. of probably reaching forward with her arms and, and trying to grab at us. So I'm going to uh, run yeah. up to her, and right as I get up to her, I'm going to drop down and, like, angle my shield kind of into her knees and try okay. and pick her up and flip her over me. Hmm. But okay. did the, I think the paladin only felt the evil from here and not from her, or am I mistaken? Oh, no. No, uh, we felt he, both he the evils. Feel it. He didn't feel the pal The paladin didn't feel the evil coming from any one direction, but y'all heard screams coming from both that direction. Uh, that direction. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I, as he's doing that, I'm going to use evil sense to evil it up, make sure she's evil. Yeah, she's evil. She's mad. Get her. Okay. Can't we just dispel the madness like we did before? Yeah, I need, yeah that's I why will, I'm not trying to kill her. I'm just trying probably, to knock her down. I, I need to roll again. I was just waiting if, right, if he uh, needs first, to roll for I, something I, to stop her. Farah would be the first one there, so he would, uh, he would be hitting her with... The, or knocking her up with the shield first. So uh, roll for uh, what would that be? Strength. Uh, I'm not particularly trying to hurt her, but I am trying to uh, defend the group. So maybe, maybe a defend, and I'm just gonna redirect her attacks at me uh, and try and knock her down. You might stand in defense of her against evil spirit <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, I think defend. Yeah, I think more. that yeah, that would be pretty. Um, I, mean, sure, sure, I, I could hack and slash, but I don't want to kill her, so I'm not like trying to do damage. In hack, I, I ha hack and slash move is just purely for damage. It doesn't. It doesn't say. 
or maybe I don't remember. Right, so if... Basically, I'm trying to apply a forceful tag to my shield. I'd, I'd say just roll the two d six plus your strength for that. Okay. Five. Oh All right. Jesus Christ! So it, the, since the you're trying experience. to be sort of careful at not hurting her, uh, she actually gets past you and oh, yeah. uh, kicks me in the face. He, he starts running at the bard. Uh, so yeah. Starts running at Astrophel. Oh yes, I definitely like sing. Another false spirit, you can suck my dick, be gone. <laughs> so I probably yeah, try to do arcane art once again. Perfect. Ooh, Beautiful. Well she just immediately like so, collapses yeah. without a scream or anything. Uh she just falls, uh and she's she's out cold. She's asleep, and she seems completely rid of the madness. Nice. Other soul well, saved. At, at this moment, I'm gonna rush into the burning building right next to me. Jump through. If there's a window near me, I want to jump through it. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a window. I'm yeah. gonna jump through it. I'm making a note to teach Greg about doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Alright, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna say roll your roll 2d6 plus your dex to see if you get hurt by the window. Alright, and, and then since you're in a burning building, I'm, I'm gonna say a 9. 9! Alright, uh, well, that's still a partial success, so I'm gonna have to do 1d4 damage for the window. Yeah. You, you make it through. Uh, with these, you jump up about waist high into the window, but uh, after all, just a straight through it, just like boom, right into it. Yeah, and I guess you can land on your feet or roll. No, in I just I roll in there, land on my ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, so here's a d4 damage. One, one damage. Doesn't do any damage. Sweet. All right, cool. And so uh, he's in there. And it's burning, and it's really hot. You feel like if you stay in there for too long, it's gonna hurt you. I wonder why he jumped in. Did he heard any kind of scream from inside the building? Uh, it was no, funny. no, he didn't. No, um, I'm, I'm just wondering I'm why, the nearest... why he did that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find the nearest fire, like fire. In the building. All right. Uh, the floor that you're on, the the ground floor. There's actually two floors to this building. Sorry. Uh, it's a two-story building. There's only uh, above you. The floor is sort of like uh, you can see it, it's burning and it looks like it might collapse any time. Uh, there's actually only like a small fire on the stairs leading up to the second floor. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and start uh, hack and slash the fire. Uh, what kind of building was it? Oh, it's, it looks like a manor. It's like a home. Oh, wait, no. That wouldn't do anything to the fire. Maybe I can, like, stomp it out. Would that be hack and slash still, anyway? I, I don't uh, even know. Maybe just do, like, a constitution check. See who resists, like, the fire resists you or you resist the fire. I don't know. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. I've never had this happen before. So, a five. Oh, I fail. Okay. So, actually, your boot catches on fire. And uh, it's on fire right now. I'm gonna jump through the nearest window. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> You're on the second floor now, right? No, no. He still. Uh, he didn't go up the stairs. He was just trying to put oh, out okay. the fire on the stairs, right? By the way, right? what's? Yeah, I mean, what is going on with uh, Mr. Hunter? Oh yes, the hunter. Uh, he actually. Uh, is he still with us? Yeah, I, I actually forgot about him, so I'm going to write him off. Uh, he ran off and is out. Uh, that's uh, the other scream, this one, that y'all heard. Uh, y'all aren't hearing it anymore. And I guess you could assume that that's where he is. <sighs> if that stupid fucker dies, then... Uh, no, he doesn't say Orphans. stupid fucker. All right. I and, uh, nice okay, to... so yeah, I'm going to do a dexterity roll to see if you make it through the window with your boot on fire. Yes, sir. No, I don't. <laughs> My God, okay, these rolls so today. You actually, you you hit your head on the wall, like right next to the window, and you just out 
like unconscious sort of like not unconscious but dazed really uh, you hit your head pretty hard but not enough to knock you out and your boots still on fire so and did he jump out ah wait he didn't jump out <laughs> no he didn't jump out yeah nice oh. what what does everyone do uh, I guess y'all wouldn't know that he's on the ground, out cold. But, uh, yeah. There's a broken window right where they're sitting at. So I guess, well, do it. Do what you do. Do we hear like a loud thud when he hits his head? Um, I, yeah, yeah, y'all would hear a uh, pretty loud thud and maybe some groans. <laughs> I am pretty agile. I shall, I shall I help him. You, you two, it will be for the best to go to the church and protect the people. That's my quick suggestion. And with that words, I prepare myself to go inside. I'd like to check out the hunter and try and save him. So right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look to a Izzard. Yeah. And uh, Master Fell might. I, I think we should run that way. Uh, Izzard, can you come with me? Yes. I agree. Right, so Izzard and Farah are going that way, and Astrophel's. Yeah, I what? say that. I, I go. I go inside, and I say like, "We'll join you later, or meet up at the church." Right. Yeah. And okay, so we the doors, can... the doors not locked. It looks like people were got out of there in a hurry. Um. So yeah, the door is actually wide open. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so you I just walk in, and go. you see him there, and uh, yeah, he's just kind of dazed, uh, out of it really. So I like. Trying to avoid the fire at the best of my ability, I go go to him. Get up, my friend! Get up! It will be a fool's death to die in the fire. We need to go. Mm. I'm gonna try to get to my feet and anchor myself right. onto yeah. him and try to like. Still on fire, actually. So I should roll for damage for that. Uh, what do y'all think a fire would do? A D4. I'll just roll a D4. Uh, one. No damage, my. Okay, so oh, it hasn't got the fire. Actually, hasn't gotten through the boot yet, but it's very hot. Uh, may I, seeing that he's booting off fire, may I roll? No, wait, because the fight danger is only if you are threatened. Uh, I guess he would be threatened. Yeah, he'd be yeah, threatened but by then the fire he himself boot. would, because what I think that my character would try to put out the fire from his boot. Alright. Because he's pretty dexterous guy, so. But you could just throw something over it and smother yeah, it out. Like... Yeah, you, you can do it easily. Don't have to make a roll. Okay. Yeah, so do that and, like, I help him get up to his feet and we must go. There's no saving this building. <laughs> of course no, it's I, I need to, I need to know, Greg. You've seen you've seen Astrophel run in, like, open the unlocked door and run in. <laughs> do you look at that open door and then go and jump through <laughs> the window? <laughs> no, I'm just going to... He's going to be on the side with him, kind of dazed still. Yeah, and I, as I get you up and sa and I say, Greg, my friend, we will really need to talk about usage of doors in the future. <laughs> Never mind that. Where did uh, Izzard and Farah go? Uh, Hunter went to that other side, and they went to him to save him. What are we doing here? Let's go. Well, I'm here to are save your sorry way? ass. Is this the quickest way? Like that? All right, so you're going to start charging that way? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, he said that he's going to the rest of the crew, so I'm following him. Okay. But uh, before I follow him, can I just take a quick glance at the church? Because I believe we might be... Like, if we take this road, then we might be close enough. Do I see oh, yeah. anything? Yeah, you can see it. Like, is the uh, church that's... under siege, or...? No, the church is completely boarded up, and there doesn't actually seem to be anything going on besides it being boarded up. And yeah, we don't hear muffled screams of people tearing each other apart. No, no. <laughs> okay, so it's very quiet. People okay. are huddled down, trying to lay low. During okay. This. So yeah, I follow uh, Greg. Alright. And uh, Farah and Izzard would probably already be there. Yep. So um, let's see. Uh, they actually get there, and they don't see the hunter. Uh, but they do see uh, a person that's tied up with rope. Uh, and remember the hunter was carrying rope whenever he walked with y'all. He grabbed his bow and some rope. And uh, 
there's actually an arrow in the leg of this person. It's it's a man. Uh, it's actually a boy, eighteen maybe. I guess he would be a man, a young man, and he's tied up with an arrow through his leg, and his family around him, uh, just doing all sorts of things. One of them's praying in the back and the other are trying to, they're staying away from him, but they're just like crying. Um, uh, is there, do you probably kind of get on scene first since I'm running in scale mail, pulling a shield around and you're small and or dexterous. And so as I kind of come running up on the scene, you've had a moment to, to look at it. So I'll, I'll follow your lead. If you want to initiate, uh, does he look mad? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's screaming. Or no, he's not screaming. Uh, he's just trying. He's trying to break out of these ropes, and he's just like, ho like not holding his breath, but he's got a face like he's just trying to use his strength to pull out. Like he's gonna give himself a hernia or something. <laughs> and I, you know, he's really trying to get out of those ropes, and he's like flipping around like a fish out of water, that sort of thing. He's just on the ground, tied up. Yeah, he's he's on the ground, tied up with an arrow through his leg. And his family's sort of standing around him and and crying. I guess I go and uh, I make a small cut on his leg with the with nice. my daggers, uh, with my throwing daggers, and yeah, that should be it. Is this with the one with the poison on it? Yeah, the daggers. Okay. So yeah, uh, he starts. He he falls asleep, sort of not gently, uh, but. He's twitching until his final moments in his sleep, or the final sleeping whenever he goes to sleep. And his family just comes up to you and says, thank you, thank you. I, if there was a moment where they were, like, afraid of this, they think their boy is at least safe now, and so this strange person comes up with a dagger out, I'll uh, I'll step in the way and, oh, and okay. uh, tell him it's for the boy's own good, like, get out of his way. Okay, kind of and as, as they're doing that, like, there are children screaming, but, like, their mothers are holding them back. Their, mother, their mother's holding them back, and they're just like, what are you doing to him, blah, blah, blah. And then once they see what you've done, uh, they can tell he's sleeping because he's still breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, they come up and thank you. I guess I'll yeah. ask them, the folks around them, if they've seen that a hunter that tied him up and stuff. Uh, yes, they have. She says um, uh, he went – to the tavern just uh just south down this road uh right here there's the tavern he went down to the tavern there was commotion over there uh, uh I'm, I'm gonna kind of i'm still a little groggy from hitting my head and running to a fire uh, building but i'm gonna say i think we should run over there to the uh tavern which way is the tavern uh Down. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, as y'all are running there, uh, y'all can see that uh, the tavern, inside the tavern, uh, there are people running out of it, sort of trying to shuffle out the front door. But um, uh, it's, there's a one of those inhuman screams coming from there, and uh, you can... You see an arrow actually fly out of one of the windows, and it breaks the window. So, what do you do? Jump in through the door. Through <laughs> the door. <laughs> All right. Well, there are actually a lot of people crowding the door. So, oh. you, you're unable to, like, get through, because there are so many. There's a is there, an, is there a, near, a window open near? Uh, yes, there is a window where the arrow threw out. Uh, okay, I'm going to jump through that window. All right, make a dexterity. Uh, oh, yeah. 11. Okay, so you make it through. And, there are tons uh, of time. So, uh, how do you make it through? Do you tumble or what? I'm going to jump through uh, head first, do a tumble, and then land on my feet. All right, cool. And what's everyone else doing? At this time, or I guess uh, first, Greg can see that um, the hunter is there, and uh, he's trying to uh, subdue, or he's shooting at this uh, this guy. Uh, he's actually a huge guy. 
just huge. Uh, he's a little fat and a lot muscular. And he actually has an arrow in one of his shoulders. And he's he's mad. You can tell. He's stricken with the madness. Okay. But we're, wa we're watching the arrows come out the window. So the guy's outside with us, right? Uh, no, no, I think that was like a missed arrow. Yeah, Maybe. it was a missed arrow. He missed an arrow and it went through the window. Okay, so the, the crazy guy's inside the tavern. Yeah, the crazy guy's inside the tavern. There are people... I'm, I'm moving in also, yeah. Oh, yeah. The front door is completely blocked with people. They're shuffling out inefficiently. And so what does the rest of the party do? I mean, for now, as far as I know, both Greg... Uh, not Greg, sorry. Who, who was in the burning building? Oh no! Wait, that was uh, Greg, yes. So, Greg, as far yeah. as I can tell, me and Greg were only running towards the last known position of the hunter. So I don't know where we are. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. I think we're all we're all at the tavern together. You guys caught up yeah. with us, I guess, and and we moved as a group to this position. Uh, that's what I thought. Ah. Okay. Okay. So if we are caught together, then. Seeing if we get inside, so seeing that big guy, and I just sigh. Uh, well, there are these days that uh, the bard. Well, how do you get how do you get inside? Because the door is blocked. With my, I say, well, you some sometimes windows are needed. It seems, and I, <laughs> I jump through the one that was already broken. All right, uh, you're gonna jump through or climb through or. I graciously pass through. <laughs> All right. And uh, I assume the rest of the party is going to follow suit? I'm, I'm um, actually no. going to get the people through the door. Like, I'm going to go there and oh, start okay. grabbing people and pulling them out and throwing them and saying, get the safety. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do, Holm? Uh, yeah. I'm going to scout around for another window. All right. And, uh... You go behind the tavern, uh, and you see another window there, and you actually have... This window is open, and you can see the giant man uh, right there. He's not directly in front of the window, but you, you have a clear like view of him. Is his back toward me? Yes, actually, his back is toward Bam. you. Um, I guess I'll just uh, slowly climb into the window. All right, because All right. Thief have bu have boxed up. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, you've climbed through plenty of windows before. You're, you're good here. It's, it's not that hard. Yeah. And um, so let's go back to Greg. Uh, what do you do in your mo your first moments uh, that you leap into this window? Captain America, my shield at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess that would be would that be strength or dexterity? Uh, Probably a volley to throw it. Volley, yeah. yeah, if okay. he's throwing in, then yes. I feel like a shield's really heavy, though. A dexterity, I guess. Do a dex roll. Uh, the volley. Dex. Do, 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 do. Seven. All right, so you hit him. I mean, he. And... if this is a volley move, then he mm -hmm. chooses one. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, so you choose one of the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... But I think only one option works here because you have only one uh, uh, shield. He can either put himself in several... danger. Or... Oh, I can't you reduce can't my ammo. ammo. Um, I can I move to get my shot placing you in danger? Move to get the shot placing you in danger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want to choose that one. Uh, yeah, so... I guess I like take a few steps up and try to throw it. Yeah, as you're taking a few steps up and like kind of a running throw, like a like a javelin toss almost, uh, it hits him. And uh, how much damage would a shield do? I mean, uh, he, I mean, he has his uh, damage dice. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. My damage yeah, dice is a d10. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so roll yeah. that. And yeah, I I don't remember. If in Dungeon World players can call if they are making non-lethal or lethal attacks. I, I wanted to hit his stomach, not like his face. I guess would that be cool? All right. or... I'm just gonna go ahead and like, if this isn't a rule, it's gonna be like a house rule, I guess. You can call whether or not you're doing lethal or non-lethal, and just kind of describe where you want to hit him, and it depends on your level of success where you hit him. 
in relation to where you wanted to hit him. I yeah, guess. with the shield is kind of easy to do non-lethal. All right, so you wanted to hit him in the stomach. <laughs> and that's a pretty big area. You you hit him there, and you did a D6 of damage. Six or six damage. Uh, okay. And so that.